I'm Brian Storm, the only reason I'm saying that is because you guys might think I'm brainstorming. And EA recently asked some people to take a survey on what their thoughts are on these different features that I'm about to show you guys, starting with 3-on-3 three three hockey, similar to what we see in OT. I don't know about you guys, but I'm excited to see something like this, primarily because I suck at 3-on-3 three three overtime hockey, and this gives me a good place to practice. If they can do something like this, at the very least, for EA Sports Hockey League and outside of that where it's kind of like a 1v1, like cut and versus, this could be very successful. But at the same time, does anyone know if this is what the 3-on-3 three -three game mode is gonna look like? This is actually 3-on-3 three -three NHL Arcade in case you guys were unaware and this was a really fun game. No, we don't want the 3-on-3 three -three mode to look like this, but it would be pretty cool if they brought this back. Like an updated version on the side within the game. Next, we have new deeks, and I always love finding new ways of getting around opponents. I really hope they bring back the Forsberg from NHL 14, one of my favorite deeks ever. But it also says you can now string together deeks, which already kind of exist. I imagine it would just be more fluid. You can already combine like a toe drag and a sweep deek together pretty well. I imagine maybe you could do like a windmill and then a puck to the skate deek, which would be pretty impressive actually. Defensive skill stick? We have the offensive skill stick that allows you to dangle right now, but defensively you don't really have control over like where you want to poke check. You don't have that much control over how you want to block a pass by putting your stick down on the ice. You can already do that by holding down the left bumper L1 and then using your right stick to the left to the right, but it's way too slow to be any effective. As I'm about to demonstrate to you guys right here, bend down, put your butt up, put your stick down on the ice, and then you do that. Yeah, that definitely needs an overhaul. Here's an aerial view in case you guys haven't had enough of it. Very strategic. Similarly, if you press R1 or right bumper, when you poke check, and then you hold the right stick either to the left or to the right, you can kind of swing your stick around, but it doesn't really do anything. Let's see what that looks like. Uh, kind of look like a zombie. If there was like an undead mode or zombie hockey, this would be a great animation. Let's also zoom in. Why is he looking one way while the stick is going the other way? What are you trying to do here? Also, look at how he flexes his body when he does it. I'm sexy and I know it. Girl, look at that body. Girl, look at that body. Oh, wait a second. Maybe not that many girls actually watch my channel. Boy, look at that body. Boy, look at that body. You guys get the idea, but it looks even worse from this point of view. Hopefully they make this more useful. But I can't say it's a brand new feature. Finally, a creative AI system that lets AI teammates, and then it cuts off there. I don't know what comes after that. Sorry, that's the end. We're done. No way, I found the other page. It's right here. It's basically saying that AIs can do the same thing as us. Wow, I, I, I sure hope so. <laughs> Draft expansion comes to the game. You can have your own team. You can now drop your jaw when you play this game. And a bunch of fluff at the end. Hopefully this isn't everything that they're adding to the game and, you know, creating a new game just like they do every year. But I imagine these are the most prominent features that they want to show off. Would they really need to do a survey if they wanted to ask for people's opinions on, like, GM Connected? I don't think so. So we'll see what else they have in store for us. Either way, it's exciting to see what's coming up. That'll do it for this video. Let me know what you guys think of these features and what you want to see in NHL 18. And if you haven't already, feel free to check out my NHL 18 wish list in the description of the video. I decided to go into the more creative direction a while ago. Thanks for watching, and I will see you later. I hope. Please?